Hi everyone, it's Tremia, and I know I've been MIA for the past couple of weeks um, since I got home from Chicago. Um, I've been getting better in a lot of ways, and in some ways not much better. Uh, my face is actually healing really, really well. Um, the wound doctor here that we found in Oklahoma City He's amazing, and it's amazing how much my face has healed in just like a week's time. It's just unbelievable. Um, my mom has been up here for the past two weeks, um, Monday through Friday. Um, she left this morning and is helping me and making sure I was trying to eat right and everything. Um, the main thing that was happening, um, I wasn't gaining any strength or and having a lot of still my shortness of breath. And my blood kept on going down and down and down. Um, right now I'm neutropenic again, which means that my, my white blood cell count is basically nothing there. And um, so we have to take all the neutropenic precautions. Uh, when my home health care nurses come in, they have to suit up, you know, with the face mask and gloves and hair net and the booties on their shoes and all that kind of stuff. And um, as far as eating, like I can't eat well. Uh, raw vegetables or raw fruit and everything has to be fully cooked can't be around plants and flowers again and all of that um, and my hemoglobin kept on going slowly down and down and you know we were hoping it would jump back up but it went below the 8 mark and so right now I'm in the hospital receiving blood transfusions and it's disturbing to me <laughs> I just the I don't know if you can see it I, it's just hard for me to just the thought of receiving blood um it's just disturbing to me but um, I'm thankful for the person that donated it um, it scares me because in when I went through my stem cell transplant and I had to have platelets um, given to me they have to give those quickly and also like the sodium chloride or whatever you know the bag of water that's they usually give you fluids with they gave that give that to you quickly and um, anyway it went directly to my lungs and you could hear the water in my lungs just gurgling like I was basically drowning and it was not a fun experience it, um, it was really bad and so receiving any kind of blood products just kind of scares me but hopefully I'll receive two units and then I'm here under 23 hour observation but I can check out whenever I feel ready to so hopefully after we get this done we can go home um, we got here like 5.30 p.m. and it took us 6.30 to get to my room and they didn't start giving me my blood products until 1 a.m. And I get two units, and they say each unit takes three to four hours to give. So, <sighs> it's going to be a long night. Um, longer than what we anticipated. But, <sighs> that's where I'm at. That's what's happening. And, <clears throat> hopefully next week all of this will all be off. Um, the only thing that's really open wound-wise is my ears are still in, um, open. All the other sores, I guess my forehead still has 
Um, we thought it was closed completely, but um, a few spots broke open. So, but by the time I go back on Monday, and especially if I get this blood, it ought to help me heal a lot quicker. So, I might put in a few other clips that I have added. And I think I do have some. I um, might have some pictures here and there, too. But if I don't, and if I do, I'll see you guys in the next video.